Hello and welcome to Imagine FX Painter 2022 tutorial on custom stamp brushes, translating dabs into unique strokes. In this video, I'll share with you easy ways to create custom dabs. In Painter, you encounter hundreds of brushes that are easy to identify across the various categories of the new brush library. It is plenty of material for one to experiment with. However, for many artists, being able to fine-tune a particular brush according to their specific needs or even create their own custom brushes, which is a fun creative process in itself, is an important step for their artistic expression. There are several ways you can take advantage of the software's robust brush engine. In fact, it can go very deep in terms of customization. Just to give you an example, when you select a brush depending on a type and category, let's say the sergeant, in the sergeant category you can have up to 8 drop down menus on the basic settings bar. So these submenus are further options to stroke, size, opacity, blending, impasto, depth profile and finally the very extensive advanced brush settings. If you are a beginner or new to Painter, knowing where all these brush setting options are located and how to use them can be very daunting at first sight. So that is why we will be covering here the easiest and quickest ways in which you can alter a brush dab as well as create a brand new one to help you get started and ready to create awesome digital art. So the first thing we will learn is how to locate and identify the overall drop-down panels. The available settings differ depending on the brush and category. An airbrush may have other setting options than the sergeant brush, for example. Important to note, to save any brush or dab you customize from now on, go to top menu, brushes, save variant. The first panel you see is on the stroke area. It will give you options on perspective guides and similar tools. Then we come to size, which is often underestimated and less known set of functions for dab customization. This panel has also um, the access to the new brush size library, which you can activate as independent panel. Then we have the opacity panel, the blending panel, which is a whole lot of functions for the blendability of your brushes. The impasto panel, which gives you depth to some brushes, um, would be equivalent to thick paint. From there on, you can activate the dab stencil panel, which opens as part of the advanced brush controls. So we continue and we have the dab profile panel then the new capture dab panel and last the advanced brush settings which we just talked about gathering all the functions into one place plus some we are going to explore further three panels that allow you to quickly and easily customize your brush and dabs so let's take a closer look at size using the sub menu you have several options that can change the appearance of your dab an expression of your brush stroke in surprising ways, much beyond the size label. That includes making it look more jittery or a stroke varying in thickness according to the selected expression. When you click on expression, another drop down menu appears with several options. By default, the brush is set to pressure. Notice that not all options may give you a result depending on the brush you are working with. This means you will need to try each every time you switch tool to see what's possible. Notice how changing the expression, um, if we change the setting to velocity, direction and random, it gives the sergeant brush these interesting, very different dab and stroke characteristics. Altering the jitter will have very different effects depending on the brush, so experiment with each of your tools. The most common characteristic is that it will make the strokes pass more particle-like. Further variants can be created if you take time to explore the lower half of the panel 
um, with angle settings by experimenting with the sliders. On the upper bar, you can use Reset to make the brush come back to its default state. So here we have the DAP profile plus paper textures. Here, the paper textures refer to the texture inherent to your brush stroke, though they won't show in the DAB itself. This is very basic. You can change the DAB to look more pointy, flat, etc. And you have texture options for the brush stroke. These can be combined with the other settings in the upper bar or other panels. In Painter, menus and options appear depending on the category and a specific brush selected. This means that each brush has a set of DAB profiles available. Some may not have this panel, while others may not have the paper textures, for example. Depending on a brush, the DAB profile may not cause um, much change visually, which is the case of the Sargent brush, for example, while on other tools the effect can be very drastic. Then we have the new Capture Dab library, a set of fun creative dabs you can use as alternative on any stamp type brush. So let's try it. It is organized by categories and can be applied to any stamp type brush. You have lots of expressive dabs like the jellyfish and even fantasy ones like the tribal tattoo. When you use these, you can alter other brush settings normally. In the Capture Dabs drop-down panel, you can fine-tune the chosen stamps with five options by clicking the Dab Effect drop-down menu. And we will test this shortly after. This library is composed of 12 categories or themes. After a while, you may notice that these Capture Dabs may have stronger effects or appearance in some brushes than others. Now, I will show you how to create your own custom dabs. You can experiment creating icons, shapes or even texts to transform them into brush dabs. You can save them as JPG or PNG and import them into the library. Painter also supports importing Photoshop stamps, so you don't need to make a set of dabs for each software. When we click the last icon down right, the panel expands with new options. From left to right, we have Manage Libraries, um, where, as the name suggests, you can better organize your custom dabs. Then we have Import Capture Dab. And the last icon is a drop-down menu where you can rename a dab, set a custom icon, etc. I created an ImagineFX logo dab by simply exporting a PNG and importing it by clicking on Import Capture Dab icon on the expanded panel. JPG is also accepted. You can import Photoshop dabs ABR in the same manner. So here we test the ImagineFX Capture Dab using different dab effects such as Feather, Blur and Threshold. Notice how just by applying these, you can also give some interesting variations to the appearance of your custom dab. There are so many ways and options to create your perfect custom brush and dab, but these easy ways we have explored here will get you started. There you are. I hope this video has been helpful to you. My last tip for you is a personal advice. Find a balance. Creating brushes and dabs is super fun, but remember, keep studying and practicing the fundamentals. This way, your artistic power truly shines when you apply your knowledge to your personalized tools. Imagine Effects Magazine and I thank you for watching. Please visit creativeblog.com slash imagineffects for more inspiring articles and videos, and of course, buy your copies of Imagine Effects at the newsstand or at a web shop. Bye-bye.